Hello everyone and welcome back to our weekly tech news roundup video. This week there were a lot of exciting announcements from companies like Tesla, Facebook and OnePlus. So without further ado, let's get started. First up, we have OnePlus launching the OnePlus 5T. Keeping up with the tradition of launching two phones a year, one a flagship which they launched during the spring and the other T-Line which is an upgrade to the flagship which they launched in the early fall, OnePlus just showed up in New York City to unveil the OnePlus 5T. The 5T is an improvement upon the OnePlus 5 in every way. But probably the most significant upgrade would be in the display department. While its elder brother, the OnePlus 5, sported a 5.5 inch Full HD display, the OnePlus 5T will be rocking a 6 inch near bezel-less display. OnePlus is calling the screen the sunlight display as it won't be washed out in harsh sunlight. Since the screen was stretched from 5.5 to 6 inches, it was quite obvious that the fingerprint sensor was supposed to be moved. Well, the ceramic fingerprint sensor, which people have grown to love, is still there, but it's now on the rear of the device. And don't worry, it's still as snappy as it was. But fingerprint unlocking is not always the most convenient option available, especially when your phone is on the table. This is why OnePlus has introduced Face Unlock, a facial authentication feature built in to the OnePlus 5T. The OnePlus 5T will be able to unlock your device using your face in less than 0.4 seconds, which at times feels even faster than Face ID. While you do need to consider that OnePlus 5T does not have any of those infrared sensors or facial depth mapping technology that the iPhone 10 has. On the camera department, the OnePlus 5T gets a massive upgrade. While the OnePlus 5 sported a telephoto lens, the OnePlus 5T switches it out in favor of a 20 megapixel sensor and it matches the same camera with a bright f1.7 aperture. This will allow better low light performance while still retaining the portrait mode capability. The phone is fractionally taller than the 5 to accommodate the screen, but it does come with the same old 3300 mAh battery capacity along with the proprietary dash charging feature. Internally, the phone is powered by the Snapdragon 835 CPU with 6GB of RAM backing it up. If you do opt for the higher storage, you can get an 8GB capacity as well. The storage is dual in UFS 2.1 for increased read-write performance. But probably the most interesting aspect about the phone would be its pricing. Surprisingly, the OnePlus 5T will still cost the same as the OnePlus 5. So if you're a hardcore OnePlus fan who's looking for an upgrade, you should definitely check the OnePlus 5T out. Up next, we have Facebook launching a new app for video creators. Video is the next big thing in content consumption and almost every major internet company, be it Google, Microsoft or Facebook, wants to be at the forefront of it. Speaking of Facebook, they just launched a new application for creators to build communities around their content. It's called Facebook Creator. Facebook wants to turn mindless passive video consumption into time well spent. And now it's giving their social media stars a powerful tool to foster communities around their content. With the launch of Facebook Creator, Facebook is offering influencers a live creative kit for adding intros and outros to broadcast a unified inbox of Facebook and Instagram comments plus messenger chats. Facebook had promised this app back in June at VidCon and it finally launched it this week. The app is currently available only on iOS and Android is planned in the coming months. If you take a look at the features offered by Facebook for creators, it actually looks like a rebrand and update of the 2014 Facebook Mentions app. That app was only available to verified public figures and pages. But now, it's open to everyone. Any individual profile or page can download the Facebook Creator for access to the enhanced fan engagement tools. Facebook will also be launching Facebook for Creators website with best practices for growing fan bases around their content. 
Facebook's VP of Video Product says that it's a big priority for them to bring people closer together around meaningful content and the people who are meaningful to them. Creators are at the intersection of everything that they think and it's pretty unique about the company. Once you open the app, it's pretty evident that Facebook wants to give the creators a one-stop shop for all functionality to manage their presence on the go. The app will let users add intros, outros and custom emoji reactions to their live broadcasts. Creators who are interested in using this would go on Facebook's site, upload an intro like a theme song or a welcome and an outro like a call to follow them across social media. Those can then be enabled in the creator app so that they play at the start and end of the broadcast. The app also allows creators to add graph frames which is sort of like a pretty border for the videos for a more immersive feel and the custom reactions that creators replace one of the six default alternatives like the standard like with a graphic of their own choice. The app also has a unified inbox so creators won't have to jump between Facebook, Instagram and Messenger. Facebook is putting all of the creators comments and messages in a single inbox with creator. One of the more interesting features offered by the app would be cross sharing across Instagram and even Twitter. This is done in order to reduce the friction of putting their content everywhere. If you are a creator looking for driving some serious engagement on your social media presence, you should definitely check this one out. Next, we have Apple delaying the HomePod until next year. Earlier this year, when Apple introduced HomePod, the company's take on the smart and connected speaker, it took the industry by storm. It was supposed to be released in December of 2017 with a price tag of $349. The HomePod was stated to take on higher-end sound systems like Sonos as well as smart assistants like the Google Home and Amazon Echo. Well, according to recent news, Apple has delayed the release of its HomePod speaker until 2018. In a statement to The Verge, Apple said that it needs more time to work on the HomePod. They also mentioned that, that they can't wait for people to experience the HomePod, but they need a little more time before it's ready for their customers. The company said that they'll start shipping the product in the US, UK and Australia in early 2018. The HomePod is a cylindrical speaker featuring a 7-speaker array of tweeters, a 4-inch subwoofer and a 6-microphone array which puts it right on par spec-wise with the best speakers in its price range. But where it is speculated to fail is probably with Siri, which isn't really that great compared to Alexa or Google Assistant. This very aspect is likely why Apple focused on music first and smart features second when it launched the HomePod in WWDC. It's definitely unclear why Apple had to push back the release of the HomePod, but putting out the holiday rush isn't something that any company takes lightly. With no firm release date and only a vague timeline for early 2018 at best, it could be a while till we actually get to experience the HomePod. Next up, we have Tesla announcing their semi-truck. Never before has a car manufacturer taken the internet by storm as Tesla did when Elon Musk took stage at the company's design studio in Hawthorne, California. The company launched their much-awaited Tesla Semi. The Semi is a fully electric Class 8 truck with a category of freight vehicles that weigh more than 33,000 pounds, including tractor-trailer rigs that form the backbone of the commercial road freight. The Tesla Semi can haul 80,000 pounds according to the company CEO. If you are a spec person, you would definitely be surprised at what the Tesla Semi offers. First up, the Tesla Semi is offering a range of 500 miles at maximum weight at highway speeds, which is much higher than the early speculation of a range of 300 miles. Musk said that the truck has a coefficient of drag of just 0.36, making it more aerodynamic than the Bugatti Chiron, which is a 2.7 million sports car with a drag coefficient of 0.38. On the safety department, the truck includes automatic braking, lane tracking, and according to Elon Musk, a thermonuclear explosion-proof glass for the windshield. Elon also claimed that if the glass breaks, 
they are going to provide a full refund to their customers. The truck can gain 400 miles of range with just a 30 minute charge from a mega charger and its operating cost is 20% less than any conventional diesel semi trucks. As goes with all Tesla vehicles, the Tesla Semi will have enhanced autopilot as standard. Since there were no details spilled out about this, we can only speculate that the Semi will offer autonomous capabilities for braking and keeping in lanes. Using the autopilot system, several Tesla Semis can form a convoy on highways, driving the operating cost down further. With the launch of Tesla Semi, Elon says that it's not just an economic suicide to use one diesel truck, it's economic suicide for even the railways. Tesla also mentioned that the payback period in averted fuel costs on the truck would be just two years. The company has not yet mentioned the retail price of the Tesla Semi, but it mentioned that the production is stated to begin in 2019. The Semi truck is clearly a major departure from Tesla's core consumer-oriented car like the Model S and Model X, which are high-end electric vehicles. The company's foray into commercial vehicles puts it into competition with a different category of manufacturers. This is sure to put the company closer to its goal of making sustainable transportation mainstream. With Tesla leading the industry in electric vehicles and particularly in the truck segment, it will also have a huge impact on the environment as commercial vehicles, particularly trucks, are a major source of greenhouse gas emissions. Last but not the least, we have Tesla coming back again, launching the Roadster 2.0. During this week's Tesla Semi event, Elon Musk pulled a one more thing when he surprised everyone with the announcement of the Roadster 2.0. The event was supposed to be the official launch of the electric semi, but hidden into one of the trailers of the semi truck was the new Roadster 2, 2.0. Yeah, you heard it right. With this announcement, the company literally pulled the carpet under every, everyone's feet. No warning, no big pre-launch lead up, just a car driving out of the trailer onto the stage. Let's talk about the Roadster 2.0. For starters, it can go from 0 to 60 in just 1.9 seconds. This is going to make the Roadster the fastest production vehicle ever produced to break past the 2 second mark. What's more impressive about this fact is that the car doing so is completely electric. The car can also go from 0 to 100 in a staggering 4.2 seconds. At the time of unveiling, Musk asserted that this is the fastest production car ever made. He also went on to say that it has a top speed of over 250 miles an hour and that it would be able to travel around a quarter mile drag strip in just under 9 seconds. The Roadster 2.0 will definitely lay the smack down to the fossil fuel obsessed auto industry. But perhaps the most notable feature about the Roadster 2.0 would be its range. Musk said that on a single charge, the car will be able to range over 600 miles. This is the first electric car that has ever hit the 1000 km mark in a single charge. The long range has to be attributed to the vehicle's 200 kWh battery pack. The Roadster 2.0 definitely justifies Elon's statement that electric vehicles can become mainstream and a sustainable means of transportation. That's all we have for you this week. Stay tuned to our channel and subscribe if you want to get updated about all the things tech every week. Throw in a thumbs up if you like the content. Until next week, this is me Pratik signing off.